Richie. Hi, Sin. Hi, everyone. And welcome to What, Where, Why Locations. Welcome to Not Fallout. <laughs> welcome to... A... Oh, God. Take me home. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> to the place. <laughs> I'm alone. Yeah, c- Country Roads, like, take away our subscribers <laughs> who are <laughs> fucking... L- you know, we have yet subscriber West lost Virginia. for the first time in the Mountain last three number. years. When we started doing this, <laughs> all right, there is an obvious bump and Country it keeps Roads. growing steadily. And now the fucking specter of Todd Howard has descended upon this channel. And on fire. we actually have a net subscriber loss for the first time. I just want to start a flame in your heart. So, Richie. Yes, sir. Today we're going to talk about the place one takes the carriage for Kindhurst Castle and the road there. Recommended by Nick. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, Sam. <laughs> and thank you, Richie. And thank you, Brutus. Thank you. And thank you, Nostradamus the Vampire. Thank you. And thank you, the little slug we cannot like. Thank you. Now Richie appreciates the array of characters. I feel like the last fortnight of Wall to Wall Fallout (laughs) was a plot by Sin to make me just desperately want what, where, why, and a series of one note characters back, and it worked. Is the official name in English of the place where you take the carriage and the road there? I will find out. I think it, it is referred to on the Canehurst summons as Hemwick Crossing. So let's see if that's what the guide calls it as well. The guide does indeed call it Hemwick Crossing. Amazing. And is it just the place where you take the carriage, or the road there, or both, or neither? It's where the little obelisk is that marks the paths out. Mm-hmm. And what about the road you take there? Does that have a name? On the map, it's labeled Castle Bluff, but I don't think that's referring to the road necessarily. I think it's the, the cliff area that the road is on. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Richie. Now, Richie, please first describe the place where you take the carriage and then the road. The place where you take the carriage is Hemwick Crossing. True to its name, it is indeed a crossing. It is an intersection of two different roads. One of the roads goes from Canehurst to Yarnham, and it is the road that we take the ghost carriage on when we go to Canehurst. Mm-hmm. And if we go the other direction, it's what leads us to Yarnum. And there's an interesting piece of weird geography that I think is a remnant of something that was cut. Because if you follow that road all the way to Yarnum, it doesn't actually go to Yarnum. It terminates in a rock wall. It's where all the, uh, the snipers are when they're gathered around the fire on the way to Hamwick. It terminates there. And there's basically just a pile of rubble and a, um, a statue. And then the way you actually get to Yarnum is you go to the dead end and then you turn right. And there's a little cave that leads to Yarnum. So presumably, like, this was one unbroken road at some point, And through development, it became a road to a dead end and a little, little cave pathway. The other road is the road that leads to Witch's Abode. And the map calls that the corpse-lined path. So... It's a little intersection of those two roads, and there is a big obelisk there. And presumably in in the olden times, that was basically a road sign, and it would tell you where the different roads went. But I don't know if it really works like that anymore, because it doesn't have anything written on it. Just a bunch of weird designs. And um, really, there's only two directions. Uh, one is a perfectly straight road between Hemwick and Yarnum, and the other is uh, just off to the side. There's a mansion with a witch who collects eyeballs. Thank you, Richie. 
Now, when you were saying roads, did you yes. know what I was thinking about? Yes, don't. Canehurst Roads, take me home to the castle where I belong. Queen Annalise. We're going to need Alfred. fucking couples counseling as a result of this fallout <laughs> thing, okay? <laughs> Martyr Ligarius, the executioners. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, this is like when the irate gamer got into Skylanders. <laughs> what happened? He kept making Skylanders videos and people stopped watching. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. But he made a separate channel just for Skylanders. People didn't watch that either. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. Now he's a puppet who reviews Lego. Sounds like he's living the dream. He's doing better than we are, to be honest. <laughs> so, Richie. Yes. When was this place built? What, the crossing or everything around it? Just like everything. Like everything in the world. <laughs> So, Richie, what yes. we have there is a location, the obelisk, the invisible road. Well, so, it's not an invisible road. It's like a it's a road that's broken. And then when you get the carriage, the carriage goes along where the road used to be. Yeah, so it's an invisible road. Is it invisible if it's just not there? What would you call it? But it's not an invisible road because we can't. It's not like it's still there. You just can't see it. Like it's actually gone. It's still there, but you need a magical carriage to take it. But it's not still there. It's still there. You just need a magical carriage to take it. Otherwise, why is it that the magical carriage can take it and we cannot? Because it's like a ghost carriage. It's going where okay. it's going where the road used to be, but the road's not still there. If it's not still there, then the magical ghost carriage would not be able to cross it. If a ghost can go through a wall, you don't say there's a magic invisible door in the wall. You say the ghost is incorporeal and can go through the wall. So it's the same thing when it goes when it goes on the road. The road's not there, but it's a ghost carriage. It's not bound by the rules of physics, so it can go across the, the invisible road. Let's just agree to disagree on that point. All right. Thank you, Richie. That'll, that'll be what, where, why roads of Bloodborne. <laughs> so, Richie, the obelisk. When Elden was that built? ring news. <laughs> yep, roads of Bloodborne is go. Okay. Oh, so, Richie. Yes. The obelisk. Yes. When was that built? It's very old. So, probably... We talked about Hemwick a bit. This is going to be a repeat of the Stables episode, but the Stables one was um, just on Patreon, so I think we can repeat ourselves a little. And what was it called specifically, that episode? That episode was called Hemwick Saddle World. Hemwick Saddle World. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's very easy to find. (laughs) That's what I love about the way this is structured, because your insistence on giving, giving our own names to locations means that uh-huh. they're therefore impossible to find unless you already knew the name we came up with. Because yep. we are not using the official names. <laughs> no one no one calls it Hemwick Subtle World. No one calls it Executioner Sepulchre. Um The Tidal Chamber? Yeah, yeah. The Red Moon Chapel? Yeah, yeah. See no one um no one would actually be searching for those things. Yarnum Watchtower. Yeah, yeah. Party Village. As Everybody I, knows Party Village. No, they don't. No, they don't. Um, I've looked at the Murmur views. Disco. Everyone doesn't. Everyone doesn't know Party Village. The Panopticum. <laughs> it is. It is called that officially, though. The Panopticum. I don't yeah, think if so. If you're playing in Russian, it is. <laughs> Doctor Quinn Medicine Woman. <laughs> what is that? I forgot about this. We called the location Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Oh, Let's talk it. about Hemwick. Okay. But I didn't name all the location yet. Well, join Patreon and you can see them for yourself. There's a carrot for you. Okay. Thank you, Richie. Thank you. So Hemwick is very old. 
we talked a bit about Hemwick on the um the Hemwick Saddle World episode. <laughs> that Hemwick is on the outskirts of Kanehurst. So presumably it's like Kanehurst is the castle and then Hemwick is the village at the foot of the castle. And as a result, you know, you can imagine back when Kanehurst was was active, you know, when it was a big power like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, there'd be carriages coming back and forth all the time. So that's probably why they um why and when they constructed that obelisk to tell people, you know, okay, this is the path to Kanehurst and this is the path to that other place called Yarnum that doesn't seem as important. So the bridge and the obelisk were built at the same time? I'm assuming the bridge came before the obelisk, because otherwise the obelisk would be pointing at nothing. It would just be pointing at a cliff like it is now. <laughs> well. <laughs> Annalise's trick. Thank you, Richard. Go this way to Cadehurst, and they, they go like... Oh, I saw this! I saw this in the cartoon where a bunch of uh, hamsters or something were jumping off a cliff into the into the sea. Lemmings, lemmings. Why? Why does that happen? It doesn't really happen. They were forced to do that. Wait, what? What? There's, it's but it's like an, it's in the cartoon. Yeah, but it, it, I saw I, it in the kids' cartoon, Richie. Yeah, can can I? I'll explain. I'll explain. Tell me. There is a persistent myth that lemmings throw themselves off cliffs. Uh-huh. They don't. And it comes from a documentary where they claimed to be showing lemmings jumping off cliffs, but they were in fact like basically rounded up and herded off the cliff to produce. What? Why? Why did they do that? I'm gonna look it up because I don't know if it was created for the documentary or because it was an existing myth, they felt they had to show it. Okay. So this is from a, it's from a Disney documentary called White Wilderness from 1958. And it mm-hmm. says, this is from Wikipedia. White Wilderness mm-hmm. contains a scene that supposedly depicts a mass lemming migration and ends with lemmings leaping into the Arctic Ocean. The narrator of the film states that lemmings are likely not committing suicide, but are in the course of migrating and upon entering a body of water are attempting to cross it. Then there was a, like an investigation into it, which said that, Okay, it revealed that the supposed lemming suicide scene was actually filmed in Calgary, not the Arctic Ocean. Okay. And that it's a species of lemming that doesn't migrate. Okay. So it is... The current theory is they basically just herded a bunch of non-migrating lemmings and forced them off a cliff and then pretended that it was... (sighs) <sighs> pretended that it was yeah. lemmings in the Arctic Ocean. That's horrible. So, okay, so in my head canon, Annalise knew that this horrible thing happened. Yep. So just so she erected this like obelisk yeah. like to honor the lemmings, you know. So it's a monument to fallen lemmings. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Richie. So which materials were used for the obelisk and the bridge? What's the bridge as well, not just the obelisk? I mean, the answer for both is stone, but... Okay. What about the invisible path that the ghost carriage um, crossed? That's made of nothing. I think it's made of something. What would you say it's made of? Ghost construction materials? The ghost blocks from Mario. So it's like it's like the dotted line of a bridge, and if you hit a power block, it will fill in. Exactly, and that's how the carriage gets across. Yeah. Thank you, Richie. Um, thanks everyone where- who waited for this content after two weeks of Fallout. Where is it? It's really informative. Oh my god, what a bully! Where is it located? It's located in Hemwick. Where is Hemwick located? On the outskirts of Yarnum. Accessed via a convoluted path rather than the road that actually goes there. Thank you. Where is Yarnum located? The mountains to the east. Where are the mountains to the east located? Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. Now, let's move on to why. Why was this built? 
So people would know uh, what direction to go in when they were traveling. Although, really, like, if you're standing there, you can see Kanehurst in the distance. So Mm -hmm. I think we have to assume that for the benefit of, um, benefit of, like, the game not taking Elder Scrolls levels of time to travel between areas, that it's just compressing space and actually Hemwick and Yarnum are, are Hemwick, Yarnum, and Kanehurst are pretty far apart. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's its current purpose? I guess we're talking about the obelisk now? Well, yeah, but its its current purpose is nothing unless you have the Kanehurst summons. Then it's something. Uh Right. Right. And who... Occupied, utilized this area before? Travelers going to and from Kanehurst via Hemwick. Hmm. And who occupies, utilizes it now? There's a bunch of executioners pacing around. And if we have the Kanehurst summons, a ghost horse utilizes it. Uh huh. I just had a vision. Go on. It would be much easier to get to Kinehurst if you had a portal gun. Oh no, as I said that, my computer went to sleep. Well, it did not appreciate my vision. Years. Oh no, now I'm back and Rich is Googling and looking again. Yeah, yeah, no, it's still not out. Okay. Okay. So now this is the optional part. Uh huh. Let's make up the name for this location. Well, we did. It's the Monument to the Fallen Lemmings. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And I guess that's it. Richie, do the outro. That was What Were Why Locations of Bloodborne, a monument to fallen lemmings.